Hello everyone, and uh, today I got to see the movie of Resident Evil, the final chapter. Um, I know a lot of the critics have been saying, staying from this movie is not worth it. It's getting double reviews. Um, so yeah, um, but before I give you my review of this movie, um, I'll give you um, my personal opinion on uh, the previous uh, installments within the franchise. And so I'll do that first, of course. Um, okay, the first, in my opinion, the first three Resident Evil movies, um, I can enjoy them fine. I believe those two, those, the first three movies, the one, the first one when it came to Tyson 2, um, even because I, I previously, um, I binge watched all the movies before I saw this movie today. Um, the first one, it doesn't. None is okay. Here's the thing. I perfectly acknowledge all these movies are stupid. They're stupid. They're dumb. They're brainless. They're not good at all. And I 100% totally acknowledge that. Um, but I enjoy. For me, like these are to me at least. This is the antith the antithesis of guilty pleasure movie. I know I'm going to enjoy them. To me, this is my just my number one biggest movie guilty pleasure. I think we all have that type of movie. For me, it is for me at least. It's the first few Resident Evil movies. Um, the second one, the first one, I'm like, all right, fine. The second one with it in the city, and I was always actual breaking out of the T virus, and um, you know, it had Jared Harris in it as a doctor and his daughter. Um, that one I I honestly would say is probably the best. You know, it's not really saying much. Um, the third I was like, okay, this isn't this still isn't too bad. Uh, and the third one is isn't is it, the third one was that was the one when it came out. It, it came out in two thousand seven. Um, it's the one that that was in like in uh, Nevada, Las Vegas, and it was a complete barren wasteland of a desert. It, was, it looked, literally looked like something directly out of, like, a Mad Max movie. But those three first movies, I enjoyed them fine. I really did. Um, it was actually the third movie. I own all the movies except for the 2012 one. The fourth comes around. And that's when I realize these movies are not really good. That's when I kind of like, Oh, that's why I like it because it's stupid, dumb on his acts. And the fourth, uh, the fourth was like, like the one he came out in 2010. Um, oh, for the record, I just want to say that the third was the first that I saw in theaters. I remember seeing that with my dad and my sister all the way back in that year. I actually very much remember that movie um, when that came out, at the very least. Um, so the, yeah, that's for me, and of course, you know, I I haven't played Resident Evil Four. Shit, I you almost fell. Oh, in the in my life, I've only played Resident Evil Four. Um, I played Resident Evil Five. I'm trying to push down my head. Resident Evil Five wasn't too good, but Resident Evil Four is the only, in my opinion, is the only good Resident Evil game I've played. Um. Of course, this is a fucking superb game. I love this game. This is one of my favorite games of all time. I still play it at my friend's house. You know, my I don't have a Wii, <laughs> really. Um. So yeah, regardless of all that. What? Uh, oh yeah, and the 2012 one, uh, was it one movie? Uh, sucked. That was that was by far the worst. Up till today. You know, going into this movie, I was like. Okay, I'm not expecting high class art here, but I'm like, you know what? You know what? At the very least, at the very damn least, um, at least stick to your guns. But the ver but when it does show the fans or see moments, it feels a so last minute and b so rushed and c it seems like it really just came to like a as a last minute um kick mind into like, oh yeah, I forgot this. By, Tom, by Paul W.S. Anderson. And for me, that's very inexcusable. And this movie, the plot for its own stuff, and I'm sorry it took this long to get into this review, um, 
you know, I really like this angle, and I'm uh, actually I'm probably gonna work on this angle from now on for hopefully. But regardless, stick to the plan, stick to the focus of this video. Um. So um, the plot of this movie is you know Alice, and this movie the, the starts out like this burn like type of like desert type of wastelands. Um, start for like 15 minutes, and then you know she gets knocked out. She just goes place to place, and eventually she's like, okay, I gotta go back to the original city, to the underground, to the hub of where this all started. And you know she's gonna confront Albert Wesker for the very last time, and you know like find it on here and all this type of stuff. This all of it is gonna happen. This movie itself. Is probably the worst of all of them, and that's really saying something. Especially when a it's just so modern, so recent, because it came out like within the last few days. Granted, it has probably better effects than any of the other previous installments, but that's really not saying much. Because the CG effects in this movie are laughably all terrible. Um, I was consistently bored. Completely just put on them, pulled on this movie, and even when it gave you like that, tr tr the traditional type of you know, kick ass action scenes at the moment, the big fundamental flaw with those I found was that they were way too fastly cut together. So it's like, okay, there's a part where she's hanging upside down, she's taking a bunch of people out, but it's like, she it would cut to her face, cut to the weapon, cut to the person, fall, get shot, and then falling down. It's like, it's way too many cuts, and it feels so horrifically fast-paced that it feels like you just can't get a breather with an, and like just choreography wise it looks bad it, it, you can't tell what's going on why is this happening and you know as a as a <laughs> I like I will openly state I like the Resident Evil franchise you know like People would say, like, oh, do, I, do we differ differentiate on the movies or the games? Regardless, it, they share the same overall narrative of the virus being spread and turning people into zombies. But what was so terrible about this movie, but what was so horrible about the film is that it felt lifeless, it felt so boring and dull and dreary. And Mila Jonovich, who I usually really do like, and she gives, okay, she doesn't really give a good performance. Do you want a good performance by her? Watch The Fifth Element. She gives a great performance in that movie. Um, but regardless, it's like, in this movie, she feels so flat, so plain. Um, and by the end, it's like, alright, she's trying again, but... You know, last minute rushed. It's just, it's just feels like such a rushed movie. Um, and for me, it really felt painfully boring. I was consistently just pulled out of this movie. Even when it came, like I said before, when it came to the action and came out all that stuff, it was. Horrible. It was incredible. I'm like, what could the time so advanced with camera technology and so fast stuff like this? I mean, wouldn't you want to take advantage of this? And it's like, no, they d it doesn't. Unfortunately, it just ruins it across the board. The fan service stuff doesn't really feel like it's earned. It feels like, oh shit, last minute. Like I always said before in this video. It feels so last minute. The editing is a complete horrible disaster. It's like they got this, um, uh, this oh, there's a tech type of setup of it, and it's thrown into a tornado, and that made you run its course on it, and it just fucks it up. That's how it feels like. It feels seriously sloppy, and the way the mix, Alice going through these other places, and her being knocked up, being dragged to these separate places, it feels way too convenient. It so, gets so annoying so fast. The side characters are probably at their most, are literally at their most forgettable. 
So characters that I really like, like Claire and Ada and Leon and all these other characters, they go on a, like, I'm not, like, again, I'm not giving away any big spoilers, but, um, when they, okay, um, it feels like when, this is the last movie, um, you want to feel that closure, and you want to feel like this is, like, you know, the last time I'd be presenting these roles. I'm gonna nail it this time, now or never. And it feels like they just shit the bed, and it really feels deeply unforgivable for the performances and how boring and bland they all were. Paul, Paul W.S. Anderson, I hope to God he is a kind, cool, kindred spirit in real life, but he can't direct for shit. And... He may be one of the worst directors alive today, in my opinion. Um. Yeah, I'm just deeply fucking shocked by this movie. Even when they, like I said before, when it came to you know, that mindless action and all that, it just couldn't deliver. At the very least, the only positive I could really say is that the last great action scene is half decent is half decent at the very least but again like for a franchise that I enjoy but I acknowledge it's not the best I mean, if anything it may be one of the worst and it, it may as well just be in my opinion like in my opinion just as bad as a series like Underworld or Transformers or Final Destination or Twilight, like those are the franchises I think are the, that are the worst ever. These are this is just it just this movie just reinstalls of how bad it is. And if, instead of a franchise when you see it go along, you see it evolve. It's like a filmmaker at least reflects back and sees okay, what does and doesn't work. Let's try to evolve. Let's try to let's try to improve the cons. Let's try to fix the cons and recognize the pros. And see what those pros are good, good ones for, and just continue to strive for the best. It's like no. As each movie goes on, either it's the first retribution, like uh, you know, Afterlife here, or um, Extinction, or the first or Apocalypse, or even um, these side two ones. I think are very very good. Um, I would personally say, in my opinion. Um, Damnation is probably the best of all of them. I forgot to bring this up earlier. I'm sorry. Um, again, it takes a hardcore. I'm gonna say I'm a hardcore fan, but it takes a. It, ta it really does take someone like me, who, at the very least, acknowledges as a very much just a guilty pleasure. But even I gotta say, this is a just an absolute betrayal and it's a genuine failure of a last installment of a franchise and for like I was say I enjoy these movies the first three as I said are fun movies um, the two side spin-off ones damnation and Degen degeneration are openly good if you could find these on YouTube I would highly recommend them um, I seriously would. Really, I'm I I'm really lost for words. I didn't believe a movie could top the Bye Bye Man. But it did. Actually no 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 no. At the very least, um the Bye Bye Man was competently shot. Well, then again, the same this, this movie. Okay, which movie pissed me off worse? This movie or Bye Bye Man? Um, Bye Bye Man, I, I personally thought it was just so much more original, but it just failed the potential. Same thing with this movie. It may not have been more original, but at least it had potential of becoming, you know, be, like, I, like I always said before, it's like, with the invention of all the technology and blood and stuff like that, Today, and you could probably make some of the best films ever made just from this year. Um, it's like, I don't know if it was the studios, whatever it's for, whatever all that type of stuff. And you know what, frankly, it's none of my business, but whatever it is, 
is clearly not working. These movies are stupid. And I've openly admitted by my own words, by my own statements, and I will openly admit to those, and I will openly say that, you know what? I enjoy these movies. They're silly, they're dumb, all that type of stuff. Even though I've got to say, this movie sucks. Fuck you. <sighs> and it just... It feels like a bit of a, like a betrayal. Even though, like I said, I acknowledge these are not the best movies ever made. But for what I enjoy and what I expect out of these, just some dumb, fun, mindless movies. This, this movie still fails in that regard. With the talent here and what could be so good, it isn't. And overall, it just breaks my heart. And I'm going to give Resident Evil in the final chapter a, an 8%. It's slightly better than the Batman Man. At least this movie has some action that I can at least see. Um, maybe too much, but overall, fuck this movie. Let the franchise die and burn, and hopefully in a few years, a new company pick it up and be like, okay, let's probably reboot, reboot it. I'm done, everyone. Thank you much for watching, and I just want to just end this video by this point. Goodbye. The movie gets an 8%. Yeah. Fuck this film. Have a nice day.